Welcome to this Community Connection Spotlight. I'm joined this morning by Michael Gilbo with University of Providence. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me down. Sure, so here we're here talking today about um, an upcoming performance through the university. Yeah, we have got Anton Chekhov's classic play, The Cherry Orchard, that opens up this Friday and runs for two weekends. Um, and yeah, we're, we're really excited. It's a real different show for bringing to Great Falls. Um, I'm not aware of any checkoff being done in the past couple decades. <laughs> Very neat. So for those of us who haven't seen the play, can you give us a brief uh, summary? Okay. Well, Anton Chekhov is kind of like uh, Russia's Shakespeare and plot is not where he lives. He lives in like kind of detailing human lives and showing kind of the ridiculousness of human lives in the context of everyday settings. Um, and, and so th this play in particular is about a wealthy couple at the turn of the Russian Revolution, uh, aristocracy, talking about the downfall, and they're about to lose their cherry orchard, and where, you know, and it's kind of like a comic tragedy. It's just not really a thing. It's bad things are happening to really silly people. <laughs> the, you know, Gaev, who I play, and uh, Lubov, just refuse to acknowledge that their wealth is diminishing. They don't know how to spend money. They have refused to accept any help that their cherry orchard is going. So, um, and around it is the servants and the things and everybody's lives is getting uprooted by these events. Okay, wow, mm. sounds like a very interesting play. <laughs> um, can you tell us, uh, what you said what, you're, or you did say what days it was. Can you remind us again? Yeah, it opens up this Friday. It plays Friday through Sunday, and then Thursday through Saturday next week. Okay, great. Um, and where can people purchase tickets? Well, they can get tickets in advance at brownpapertickets.com, or they can get them at the door. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I hope that people brave the snow this weekend to come out and see that. <laughs> oh, definitely. So, um, what ages are encouraged to attend the play? All ages or? Well, it, there's nothing inappropriate for any age, but the way Chekhov is, I really doubt that, you know, younger kids are going to find much interesting in this. I mean, there's some humor, but it, um, it's not a play for younger kids, but it's not not a play. I mean, if, if you have to bring out your kid or you like exposing them to culture. Sure, so maybe a date night or, yeah. you know, just an outing for adults. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. Um, can I tell you, or can I ask you what themes are presented in the play and how maybe that relates to our audience here in Great Falls? Well, I, I think it's just very relevant for right now. Like I said, it's talking about the whole social upheaval and, you know, in Russia, you know, a very, very small percentage of people held on to all the wealth and that started changing. <laughs> so I, I think we can definitely see that in our community, in our country right now. Um, it's just amazing. Because Chekhov writes about people um, in less than plots, uh, his stuff is held up so well. Because even though times have changed, you're going to recognize yourself, your relatives, your friends in, in this situation and how they react. <laughs> Very neat. So what do you hope attendees take away from this performance? Well, I, I hope they, um, first off, I hope they have fun. We are treating this as the comedy that Chekhov intended. Uh, there is a big long story around that, but it, it looks like it is a comedy drama. And I, I just hope they look at themselves, their lives, and their actions in a little bit different way. All mm. right, great. Well, that's all the time that we have for this community connection. Again, you can find all that information and um, purchase tickets even at brownpapertickets.com. Mm -hmm. um, you'll also find that information on our websites, krtv and kxlh.com. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. All